Okay, machine's preheated. Flipping to, let's see. Helmet. Okay, come back, check preheat, it's preheating still, and you're going to go to Z offset, it's going to adjust, get your paper ready. Very far away. So right now, the bed is relative to the sensor, not the nozzle. So what you're doing here is just go up and down. You're moving the bed closer to the nozzle, obviously, but you're telling the machine where the nozzle's at. So you want this to drag here. So I'm gonna move it up. That's one millimeter. Then you're gonna go to micro step in here to either 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 then I'd start at like 0.1 here one step two step three four five six all right see how there's drag so that's one too many and down one and now the paper moves freely, but it still is grabbing, okay? So you can move it, put it in, pull it out, but you can still not pull it out easily. So the offset's set there, so you're gonna set Z to zero. Then you go back. Don't move the bed here. Go here. In my case, I lower my Z. In your case, you're gonna raise your Z, so. Move your Z so your nozzle is not dragging on the bed anymore. Home the machine again. Okay, now go to level <clears throat> and go to hand. And from the hand, each corner, you're gonna hit, get your paper ready as well. This is lowering the nozzle to the bed to where you put it relative on the Z offset, not, not the sensor. The sensor is red way beyond this point. So right now the sensor sees the bed probably about right here instead of up here because it's lowering it to the nozzle instead. So here is where you adjust your screws on your bed. And see how there's a little bit of drag now. So you move to your next point. It's moving over. You'll see the sensor turn on way early before the nozzle comes on down to the bed watch. See? All right, so see how there's more drag. Tighten it. A little bit more. A little bit more. All right. Third corner. My bed has uh, six screws. It's pointless. I don't know why. Right here. See. Can't really get this angle very good, but try to. Yeah, I'm dragging the scene. So.
two, that's two views. Okay, so. it. Right. And you check the center. Usually do not touch the bed screws at the center adjustment because <clears throat> you can't really tell which side is too high or too low. Kind of generally that if it's too high in the center, it means kind of need to hit all four corners again and uh, lower it more or higher, uh, raise it up more. Right now my nozzle, it's not really rubbing the paper too too heavily, but that's a pretty good level right there for the nozzle. That's about, that's about two millimeters, about a little more. So here I'm done. So I go home, raise, raise my Z, home the machine, and from there you're good. I don't use the auto leveling feature, but from here, that's when you go to here, double check that you're preheated still, and then you level by auto or you can go by hand again. Every time that you enter the leveling menu and exit the leveling menu, your preheat settings are reset. So anytime you level by hand or level auto and you exit that menu, it's going to uh, cool the machine back down. So the, <clears throat> the uh, nozzle temperature isn't so much, uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be this high. You can have it down to, I have it this high because I'm using PETG. Uh, you can have it down to like 180 so that you can uh, prevent oozing. So that the nozzle uh, will like really small little stuff like that. And then, um, it could affect the, the leveling process because you can see there's a little bit of foam on the paper in some places, but uh, just as long as your bed is preheat to the to the temperature that you're going to print it. So let me see. I can probably I have a print on here, and we'll see if the offset is on. See, this is asking if I want to re restart from the last point that I stopped it at. Hit no. So, if anything, <clears throat> it might be a little bit high right now. So, let's see. Oops, the thing is easy. Moving it down to the offset level. And now it's printing. So I have a really long uh, tube, so it takes a while for the filament to come out. So, there you go. Alright, see, so the offset is good. It's actually squishing the filament really nicely. So, I don't use the auto leveling feature if I don't need it. So, there's, so there's the layers. Perfect. All right, so I don't need this print, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop it. And, and that, there you go. So when you're using the auto level, <clears throat> it takes the level of about six points on the bed at four different spots. And then, I mean, at, at least on my machine right here. So this, it's gonna move your Z axis up and down as your machine's printing. So if you, if it's, if the sensors like, uh, like if you do the auto leveling with the sensor, <clears throat> with the bed not preheated and the sensor notices the distance with the bed like cold, you're going to be way close or way too far off. So this, that's like perfect right there. See, so the adhesion is really good. See, I can barely even get it off the bed. So I'm going to have to wait for that to cool to cool down and then get it off um see like right here that is like mm -hmm. that's just dirtiness so like you probably I, this is the isopropyl alcohol that i have and i just use regular paper towels so i don't know you can't really tell but it, it works for me every time i clean my bed i clean my bed um, I try to every after every print. Your bed starts to look like that after a while, but it, it still prints great. So, uh, yeah, that's the process of leveling.